Hello, everyone. My name is Cesar Ortiz Hernandez. I am representing for my group today in the marketing plan of customizable Oreos. Again, my name is Cesar. I represent my group, Jeremy Papuona, Nicholas Payeres, Noel Asagora Vega, Oscar Panegua Maqueira, and Oscar Parada. And I'm on to presenting our presentation. Hello everyone, my name is Cesar. I will be going over the concepts and the description of our marketing plan. What are Oreos? Oreos are chocolate cookie coverings with cream filling in the inside along with being a sugary treat. They were first introduced in 1912. What are they all about? They support the LGBTQ plus group partnered with the PFLAG, which is PFLAG. Also, they shine a spotlight on the powerful impact, love and acceptance on LGBTQ plus. Our description of our marketing plan. Our plan is to have the consumer to have the ability to custom make their own Oreo cookies. Next up, we have Nick explaining our industry analysis. Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Los Polaris, and I will be talking about industry analysis for Oreo. For the industry analysis, we will be looking at the competition within the industry and diving into the two types of competition Oreo faces. Prior to the conception of customizable Oreos, customizable cookies were very scarce and expensive, often requiring the customer to visit a baker or a specialty store. Customizable Oreos, being able to change the colors or add images to a cookie has never been easier. The industry itself was worth $30 billion in 2019 worldwide. It doesn't show any signs of slowing down. With such a high demand for sugary treats, Oreo ultimately faces a wide array of competitors, both direct and indirect. Three of the direct competitors include Arl Hide and Seek, ITC Sunfeast Sandwich Biscuits, and Britannia Bourbon. While these are some key competitors of Oreo, it is important to note that none of them offer a cookie as customizable as Oreo. Their direct competition is also very large as it targets the same sugary treat demographic. Some of the indirect competitors include M&M, Snickers, and Hershey's. While the industry is very vast, there is still opportunity for growth. With that in mind, Jeremy will be explaining the market analysis. So if we take a look at the marketing analysis for Oreo cookie, we can see that Oreo has a very wide distribution channel mainly targeting consumers through convenience stores, grocery stores, big box stores, drug stores, and warehouses. Some big name examples of these would include Ralph's, Walmart, Albertson, CVS, Target, Costco, and 7-Eleven. Um, in 2018, the global market for the cookie industry was valued at a whopping 30.62 billion US dollars, and that's expected to grow at least 5.3 more percent until 2025. In addition to this, Nabisco, which is Oreo's producer, captured the first four best-selling spots in the nation. And these kind of just highlight the potential success we'll have as we innovate a new product, not only domestically, but globally as well. Um, we hope to allocate our expenditures towards families and individuals who wish to snack on a familiar treat, not only resonating with our consumers, but also innovating our product to further match the ever-changing market. Thank you for presenting market analysis. Next up, we got SWOT analysis with Noel. Hi, my name is Noel Oseguera. I'm gonna give you a brief SWOT analysis on our customizable Oreo marketing plan. First, we'll start with strengths. The Oreo brand has a very strong brand impact with high quality ingredients and is well known for being milk's favorite cookie. With a worldwide market and widespread distribution, our customizable Oreo should be able to expand globally. Now onto weaknesses. The oversaturation of cookie brands on the market will be an issue for our customizable Oreo products. There is also the fact that Oreos are, are already a little more expensive than other direct competitors, so making them customizable will only increase the cost to customers. Next up, we have opportunities. With the cookie market constantly growing year by year, we have a great opportunity to capture both new and existing revenue. 
Oreo cookies aren't always the first choice when someone is planning a party or an event such as a baby shower or a birthday, but making them customizable will be more appealing to those markets. Next, we have threats. It is not only direct competition that will be a threat to our customizable Oreos, it is also indirect competition. One example is M&Ms. While not directly competitive with Oreos, they have a program to customize with pictures and colors. Now we think this will either drive consumers to pick one or the other or buy both for the party. Since there is an option to be made, we consider that a threat. One other very large threat to our product is that people are starting to live healthier lives. Now this means they're choosing less junk food, less sweets in their normal diets. Given that fact, it will be difficult to sell to standard consumers outside of special events or parties. Thank you. Next up, we have our marketing strategy. Thank you, Noel. Like Noel said, we have our marketing strategy with Oscar Panagua, Makeda. Oscar Panagua, Makeda. Marketing strategy. Ori has been aggressive in the marketing and has been involved in many public relation activations in many international markets around the world. Oreo is an active on digital platforms such as the various social medias. Oreo has also many television commercials alongside various radio and magazine ads. Additionally, Oreo has many newspaper and print campaigns. However, the primary marketing focus is on television and on the digital platforms that Oreo is actively involved with. Business goals. Oreo's mission is as follows. Every day we are inspired to go the extra mile to lead the future of snacking around the world. We do this by offering the right snack for the right moment made the right way. Next up, we have our financial analysis. Hi, my name is Oscar Parada and I will briefly cover the financial analysis for Oreo cookies. In the cookie industry, Oreos is and has been at the top of the charts for a while, and that's partially due to Oreos brand and customer loyalty. Oreos generate billions of dollars in sales every year, and they consistently dominate the market. If we take a look at the graph here on the slide, it compares Oreo to other cookie franchises in global sales for the year of 2014. Oreo is sitting at $3.28 billion, which is leaps and bounds ahead of the other competitors with second place only having $1.03 billion in sales. So just in the year 2014, Oreo sold three times more than the next best competitor. The cookie industry has grown over the years and will continue to grow with Oreo cookies at the forefront of the industry. Hello everyone, I'm back. Thank you for watching. We hope Navisco Oreo will be able to create a new world for the consumer and customize Oreo cookies at the consumer's order. Take home an Oreo with custom cream filling with and sprinkles if you want to, along with maybe your face on the cookie. Navisco Oreo since 1912. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation and apologies for our two group members that couldn't make a video. They were actually in the field, making sure that this marketing strategy was able to be worked out. Thank you very much.